in our last example, we changed the background color of a widget. In this example, we're going to change the foreground color, which is really the text color. So very similar to the background, typed in BG for the background color. For the foreground color, if you want to take a guess here, it's going to be FG for foreground. And we'll change it to white. Love that. So make sure to put it inside quotation marks. Also, won't we'll understand what you're trying to do. So let's say white. And everything else looks good here. Let's go ahead and run it. And you see the font color has been changed to white. So whenever you want to change the font color of something, FG is, for, is the foreground. BG is the background, so you want to be able to change that. Now, if I wanted to change the font color as someone's typing in this entry right here, let's go ahead and I'll change it to foreground, and we'll change it to purple. Okay, see what happens when I run this. And sure enough, when I'm typing Mr. Danza, it shows up in purple. Click Submit, and it clears it all. All right, so that's just another uh, example of rather than just using a button, but FG, that parameter is being passed, works for all widgets. So that's how you would change the font color of a widget. And it's as simple as using the FG parameter.